Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do another jungle video because this is where FlexQ puts me because I queue as mid in jungle and somehow I never get mid here and today I want to talk about two things well I want to do a normal Tlia jungle gameplay guide and besides that I want to talk about why I don't really do Tlia in solo queue anymore I don't why I don't play it and that's because of two reasons mainly uh, in short, so the summary, the first reason might be because she's absolutely garbage on mid lane and if you look over any server you're going to see maximum, maximum two players per server that play her mid above master tier or so, maybe three if you're lucky, but yeah, she's in a sorry state in mid lane, she had a lot of features removed, I really do not enjoy her anymore on mid and uh, if you remove half of the features of a mid champion just to push it to the jungle that's kind of sad man and that's why well in jungle she fares well she has a decent win rate here of 52 percent as i recall in diamond plus but a low pick rate here as well even lower much lower than the mid uh, much higher than the mid lane sorry so in jungle pick rate her pick rate is like one percent in mid i think it's like 0, 0.0 something i don't even think she has 0.1 but correct me if i'm wrong maybe i didn't look properly she has a low player that's what's important basically if you got features out of a champion and put it in a sorry state in mid lane it's clear that it won't work it won't attract new players and one thing that pissed me actually was that they put Tlia in the balanced sort of uh, pot into the video that they discuss balance for beginners from Riot and that's kind of mean <laughs> really that's kind of mean because she's she might be balanced as you think well in jungle but that's just the force a role force with features stripped which I dislike this is the worst approach that one could do to a champion like just leave her be in the mid lane man work around it if if you put her there with that in mind at first just keep her there and that's what most of the player base wants because everyone starts with her on mid so or on lane basically and so that's why I don't really play anymore that's the first thing and the second thing is that I'm at around 450 LP in Grandmaster I need, I need like 100 150 more why was Xerath so ahead I don't know and so I find it more easily to play anything else than Talia Pantheon, Twisted Fate, I don't play Twisted Fate and Orleans Soul, but I believe they are much more simple to climb with besides, uh, obviously besides Pantheon. I play Pantheon a lot because it's like the AD Assassin version of Talia, but man, you cannot really do anything. You cannot really do anything with Talia new or different than Twisted Fate or Orleans Soul because they do something better. And I don't say that Orleans Soul is a good state, I don't think he is. Is in quite a sorry state as well, and we might get this guy here. We might not, because the minions. Okay, we got the Yorick, and yeah, I'm going to go over the tutorial. And well, bot lane is doing great, I see. We can go to check if there is any volley jungle up. I can actually go here. doing just dodge that All right I'm gonna push it in I'm gonna try to get another I'm gonna try to get another uh, dark harvest prop but I couldn't really so yeah I see no reason when I have success with Pantheon in general I see no reason to actually play something else such as Talia when Talia is in a bad state mages are in a bad state on mid lane and Talia is probably one of the weakest mages right now and that's just sad 
and while some people find success with her, I believe the same people could do 10 times better on other simpler champions or stronger champions. Because if you know how to play Talia on mid, you have the macro to play other champions, other maybe roam intensive champions, and I think you just shoot yourself in the leg with that, with playing Talia. I'm gonna go for this, I might try again combat. I don't want this to reset, but it does, Jesus. So I just did the full clear, I get a hit, I get some lags, but I guess that's fine. And we got a kill there. I see there is going to be a scuttle around here. So we just go here, we do some deep wording. We can get this because Volibear just has no support. Oh, okay, that's just odd. I think I went over a word or something. There is a word, something, or he, but yeah, it's my bad. And Jace roamed for no reason here because he's behind his CS. I don't know. I just tilted out of that. But yeah, bot is winning, so not a big problem. But if Xera dies randomly to the yeah, <laughs> this is flex, so stuff like this does happen. I mean, this shouldn't have happened, but yeah, Volibear used his ultimate. He's a level ahead, but we can actually get we can actually get this scuttle. I'm gonna smite it. Oh my god. Okay, on top we also win. I should have had Red Trinket and cleared it. And now I should actually ask my bot for help. Because if Jace comes here, yeah, and he does, I'm just in a shit spot. Man, this hello. Jesus. I have to let it reset now. I do. Because bot lane just slips. Bot lane might even also die. Whatever, man. I'm gonna take that. Anyway, so the conclusion there. I was sure. I was sure that they would kill this guy because they had exhaust. The conclusion there is that if you really want to play Talia mid, you can, but she isn't what she used to be. The game is so lost for them, man. What? He lived. What are you doing? Okay, let me try something here. Nah. Never mind. Just just leave me alone. You died four times. You play Ghost Flash Xerath and you died four times. Just just get them, get me away from you. Alright, as you can see when I'm doing videos I cannot really focus on the macro part as much as I'd like. And that's obvious. That's pretty much obvious. So I'm just gonna get this. I'm just gonna stay on top of CSO. See he's coming. I wanted to reset. Yeah, I knew I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I played that nice. I knew I knew he couldn't really do much there. Maybe he flanks me here. I don't care. I can escape, I have flash. But he's 3 0, but a volley bear will never be able to really carry unless we don't have damage to kill him, but eh, even then, even then he doesn't have any damage. So again, playing Pantheon helped me climb. Basically, I see no reason to do to Lia mid, as she's just other champions but worse. She got stripped of a lot of features, so she became way, way more weaker. I'm going for the scuttle, even though it's bad. It's bad patting. I see this guy here, and so just play whatever makes you happy and don't expect her to be extremely strong on mid because she's not i'm not sure what's happening on bot if i were to guess they lose to volibear because he's so far ahead and i just go around here trying to find some golems yeah i'm not going bot i'm really not going bot you can ping me I cannot really do much if uh, Jace is also there. 
Jace went freaking hell, man. Well, yeah, I'm gonna mute his pings. Just give me a sec. Alright, I'm gonna recall here. Where is he? Bye. Alright, the point on this champion is not to actually spam ganks. It is to actually farm up and be ahead in CS if you can. In levels, it's very hard to counter ganks towards a volley bear. It's very hard to do so, especially when your mid runs it like this. And so, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh. <laughs> oh man, lower reloads. Oh no. And Kaisa went all in there. I don't think I can get her because there is going to be a CS wave. But I can get this. Maybe blue too. I don't think I can get blue. There is a volley bear speeding towards me. I'm just gonna smite it to be sure. Okay, and we need some more gold. But I stick around bot in case in case they decide to do something. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Alright. I need to play just if I stay just bot, we cannot lose. Because because I'm, uh, oh look, see, as I said. But then again, Kaisa had exhaust. I know they don't have words here, or they shouldn't. That was beautiful, man. That was beautiful. Holy moly. Oh boy. <laughs> Stay here. Def, def yourself if you can. <laughs> they cannot dive you. Alright, can I get. Uh, I can sell this. I need to go for boots now. Uh, we will outscale them because Jace has freaking Serpent Fang first item for absolutely no reason in a game with no shields. Because this guy doesn't have barrier, this guy has a heal. Uh, if he went for a normal build, maybe, maybe they would have won. But unless we are idiots, there is no way we lose this with that build. He has all the kills, we got even shutdowns. Obviously, if Yone starts hinting, then yeah, it's going to be hard, but... That play was nice. Also, I said I am going through a tutorial. Sorry for uh, carrying myself out. Yes, I pinged that Serpent Fang in the minute one. Alright, so generally, when I play jungle, I go for Red Trinket as soon as possible. I try to decide on Ludens or Landry's or Everfrost based on needs. So if you have a lot of tanks, obviously you go for Landry's if uh, they have... Just one, which is strong, but the rest of them needs to die quicker. I go for, as you can see, Ludens, because we want to burst Jace fast. We want to burst Senna. Senna has no grasp. And this guy still runs it. Yeah, I'm pretty much sure, yeah, that's going to come here. And... Okay, I need to see. I'm gonna get that. But besides the Xerats, really, we don't care. We win. So, I, rarely, I generally go over Frost when I need to be a little tankier. I'm coming. Alright. We can even get Tower here. Oops, that was shite. 
And so your choice on the item depends. For example, you want you have damage, but you don't have survivability. You go over frost in your team. I mean your comp. You have no damage, but you're in a quite safe point. Uh, wow, that. Oh, go oh, coming. Ah, I'm garbage. It's pretty much clear that I haven't had practice in a while because I play quite bad, but also it's possible that I'm tired as well. I'm surely tired, so that's why I'm playing bad. But again, it's a free win because they're both lane runs it, so whatsoever, man. I mean, Mike Zerat went to... 2-7 in the first minutes of the game and they still didn't win anything or they weren't even close Alright, so it's game over, but for runes I generally go Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunt, uh, Cup the Grace, Presence of Mind in these rune stats and I don't post so often videos uh, right now because I, as I said I'm trying to get to Chal if possible and after that, if I do reach it, it's going to be nicer. I'm gonna get one shot it here, but Kaiser should actually kill everyone here. But she used Q on minions, so should have chased there. So I might do videos after after I reach Chal if I do. But I'm not sure if I enjoy to lay anymore, so because I want to play lane, I'm generally a laner. So that's where it starts the entire thing or argument. So just go for Baron and end it. So for runes, we talked the build. Generally after the first item, you could even go for Rabadons or Mejais if you're ahead. Sork Shoes, or if you don't have that much gold and you really want boots, you can go for these boots. It's another option that works. And really there's not much to it. You have to do your clears, you have to be ahead in farm at the mid game and besides that really not that much and i'll try to do a drive by and smite it <laughs> oh it deals more damage my bad i forgot i really forgot that the I really forgot that the smite value has increased. <laughs> I thought it deals 500. <laughs> I really thought it does. <laughs> How much it does? I haven't played jungle. Oh, it deals 900 damage. Okay, I thought it's 500 because I'm used to the old value. Okay. The drive-by would have been an idea if not. <laughs> yeah, you can smite it and I don't think you're going to fall over from the wall. As far as I know, I might say something stupid though. It's funny now, Xerath has a bounty after going 1 7. <laughs> like, come on, man. I actually haven't played jungle since the smite changes, so that explains my great, great spell casting. Wanna cast another Q? I just enjoy themselves. You see passive farming, and my team gets all the kills. All right. So yeah, about the idea. That's it. It's not rocket science. It's nothing special. I think the game is won because my Kaiser goes insane. But yeah, everyone with his own ways. You can sp expect more videos once I reach if I do, and in rest uh, I might do some mid tutorials or whatever. It's pretty much bad that the volleyball was 3-0 and then the game has a 4-5. I'm not even getting damage, man. Penta? Penta? Why did you rush, man? I could have tanked it for you. 
I think he thought the game would end. <laughs> anyway, that's the thing. That's how it went. That's how it goes. If I reach Challenger, I will notice you and we might see more Talia videos in the future. I might even play her on mid sometime if I like the meta, but right now, not really. So that's all. Thank you for watching and see you next time, guys. Have a wonderful week, weekend, month, year ahead. See you next time. Bye-bye.